let's learn third and last form of ocean energy that is ocean thermal energy so when the sun rays fall on the ocean surface the water at the upper surface absorb this heat and becomes warm while the water at some deeper level is relatively cold so this creates a temperature difference between the surface water and the water at a deeper level which is around 20 degrees celsius so we can use this temperature difference to generate electricity now to use this temperature difference a plant is set up which operates on the temperature range of 20 degrees celsius so what happens is we take a volatile liquid like ammonia which boils up by the surface waters so when this vapor is thrown on the turbine and the vapor rotates the turbine which generates the electricity then the water from the deeper levels is pumped up and this vapor is again converted back to the liquid and hence a cycle completes so by this cycle we can generate electricity the electricity thus produced can be used to run our appliances their major advantage of ocean thermal energy is that it is renewable and continuous and it is present in large amounts in the ocean its major drawback is that there is a lot of capital investment on building up a ocean thermal energy conversion plant and due to low temperature difference between the surface water and the deep waters its efficiency is very low it's around 3 to 4 percent only the first and only ocean thermal energy conversion plant was made in 2013 in japan and it was made for the research works to find out a technology to convert the ocean thermal energy into electricity 